we go. Hello, everybody. Being the lead here. Get myself situated. Here we go. Um, I'm gonna do uh, a what's in my purse, but just a quick view of all the purses that I've used over the last uh, week. Just kind of like a my weekend in handbags. <laughs> Kind of like a view of how my weekend went uh, through my purses uh, and then switching into another one because why not? Okay, so earlier in the week, I had started with this one. It's Michael Kors Manhattan bag, black with the neon trim. And this is the one that I started in uh, kind of like. I don't know exact days, but I had started in this one. So I was in this one. This is a strap off a different bag. I'll tell you that. Um, obviously, uh, I started with this one and then I went into this one. And then I went from this one and let's see. No, I went, yeah, I went from this one into this one, the one that you guys seen in my what's in the purse video, my last video, the Jimmy and Burke uh, Barlow or something, I don't know. It's just really super cute. It's like black shiny with all this rainbow print on it and it's super cute. And it's got three compartments, the two outside pockets and then the big middle pocket so that oh and that's where um i'll take this strap off of here because i'm going to be switching it anyway um this black strap that i was putting on here and i know everybody's everybody's gonna have a freaking cow that i'm putting a strap on this, you know, and they're like, oh, the wear and tear, blah, 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 blah. I gotcha, getcha, researched it, YouTubed it all over the internet. The shoulder strap, for me personally, outweighs the use than what little tiny bit of wear I might get because I ain't gonna use this bag non stop. So, yeah, anyways, I just had to get that out of the way so I didn't get smashed under the bus because I put a strap on here. But anyway, the black strap that you've seen on here uh, is the short piece shoulder strap out of this purse. And then of course it does come with this extender piece to make it crossbody. But um, yeah, I just took the short shoulder piece um, to wear on the Speedy. And this, I don't want to put back in here because I pack my bags, like I stuff them, pack them, and then like put them in bags and then store them away. And I might need this again. I don't want to dig this bag out just to find this strap. So I'm going to put this to the side and I can put that everywhere. So then I was in this one and then I went from this one back into this one. <laughs> You can see a team. I keep ending up back in here. I, I, if you saw the video where I got it and talked all about it, or if you want to, I'm sure it's in my play thing somewhere where I got this. It's like clean out my purse and it shows this and I explain all that, but yeah. So it started in here, went to here <laughs> and then back into here. No, no, this time I went from that one to this one. <laughs> and then I went from this one back into this one. <laughs> so that came back again. And then I got this bag. Uh, I found it TJ Maxx. This is my latest purchase. You guys haven't even seen this one in a bag video yet. Cause I literally got it. And I like just this last, I didn't even had it like a whole week yet. It's Steve Madden. <laughs> And it's this gorgeous, like, let's do size. So like, here's the Manhattan, you guys know it's 
fairly small. So yeah, they're like relative in size. But even though this one is uh, small in size, like the Manhattan's really structured. This one though, it's soft and you can pack a ton in here. Like this front little pocket is small. Like it's kind of like chapsticks or something like that or nothing, whatever. But the inside of it, which these come unsnapped, so you can like long pull it. The inside of it, it's all black, but it is mighty. And yep, that is the strap that comes with it. But it is mighty. Like it is small, so it's like you get the love of carrying this little small petite bag, but you can pack it to the gills. It holds so much. And it's so sexy with all its studs and and eyelets and everything on it. And then it came with this shoulder strap. This thing is thick. It's like the whole bag and this giant thick strap is like got a rock and roll feel, I think. So it's like totally gives me rock and roll vibes. And I totally do love it. It's just in my nature to swap bags around a lot. So like it almost takes the whole bag to put the strap in there because it's huge. And then these just snap back down. So we have been through the Manhattan bag and the Dooney multicolor bag and the Steve Madden like gunmetal hardware. It's like the dark hardware, the gunmetal hardware and this cool rock and roll bag, which all of them I'll find my way back to. But yeah, that one I ended up in. And then I went from this one back into this one. <laughs> so I like swapping my bags around a lot. And if you know anything about me, then you know that that's like my favorite like pastime is trading bags, trading bags. Like it's not very often that you'll see me with the same bag over and over again. I if you don't, you're gonna knock my camera over. But I do keep finding myself back in this bag. Probably because I dreamt about it for 22 years. Ivy, I hear you, hold on. But I don't want to use it nonstop because I don't want to wear it out because I'm so obsessed with it. Like if it gets torn up or something, I literally just bust out crying. I wouldn't even be able to take it. So I went through all of those bags and my stuff is in here now, as you can tell, because my sanitizer is hanging on it. And yeah, so I ended up back in this bag and now I'm going to switch it <laughs> into this bag, this DKNY tote. And it's got like that ombre effect on the sparkles, like it's silver like sparkles on here but if you look at it it like does an ombre see it's like the bright silver and then like a darker gray and then just on into black and i really like that like ombre look of the sparkles and it's um it's kind of like dkny's version of the uh what's that dude's name company's name the the tote bag, all Mark Jacobs. Yeah, I had to like say the name of the bag <laughs> to get it. So, okay, so it's DKNY's tote bag inspired by Mark Jacobs, which cool to me because I found this at Ross for like 40 bucks. So, yeah. All right, so that is kind of like my weekend in a view of <laughs> handbags. <laughs> Maybe that'd be a thing. It'd be like my week through bags. And then maybe like, I'll show you like extra things that I had to carry or something. Maybe that'd be like a thing I can do. Uh, like just kind of like, <laughs> because my life story really does revolve around handbags and you can always tell what someone's been up to by what bag they're carrying. Like, I guess, you know, people that just carry a bag all the time, no matter what, there really ain't much there, but when someone's swapping bags out, like 
I started out with this one um, because I was just feeling a small bag. And then this was new, so I wanted to give her a try. And then I got this one because it was just too cute. I, could, I hear you, Ivy. Sorry, my dog is jumping at the door. Uh, she'll be okay, I promise. Don't, don't come at me. Um, and just too cute. And uh, let's see. Oh, and this one is the one, like, I was using this one. And then we were going to the casino and I was like, oh, maybe I'll just use this one at the casino. It's all colory and stuff, but I don't know. And then I picked up this like rock and roll bag and that's when I was like, oh yeah, totally going to the casino with rock and roll bag. So that's just how that worked out. But now we're going to switch into this. Let me see. Uh, let me get my, my broken bones worked around here and scoot you guys back 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 don't look at my kitchen my dishes are dirty back 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 okay better stop i'm about to fall off the other end of the table okay so let's get this stuff out of here like i told you guys i do stuff and pack away and take care of my bags i don't just randomly have them all shoved in a hole somewhere or anything like that um, and this strap I'm just going to hang up somewhere. Um, so here's this. It's just like the other one, but um, it does only have, it's just all one empty, but it does have one, it has one fairly generous, that says DKNY right there on the little tab. It does have one pretty generous slip pocket on the back, but other than that, it's just a big open hole which is fine with me. Like I'm so like versatile, I guess, if you want to say like that, because I can use bags that are like structured and organized and I'm happy with that or just big sacks with nothing. And I'm happy with that too. <laughs> um, here's the shoulder strap to it. So we'll just set that to the side for now. So, okay. So I'll put this bag right here. So we can see her and then let's put her up here let me turn this way just because i like the lock <laughs> so we'll put her like that and i do have an organizer in here so this i'm not going to put the organizer in this i'm just going to use it as the bag i see you baby hold on so first let's take the sanitizer off the outside and there is a clip on the side because it has shoulder straps. So I'm going to clip um, and clip my sanitizer right to the side of the purse using the strap holder. Okay. So that takes care of that. So that's all the outside. See? Okay. And I do have a purse organizer in here. Because anybody, you know, is speedy. I mean, you could totally go without it and just let it be like a slouchy bag all the way. But this bag's vintage. I've needed it like my entire life. And if putting an organizer in it helps save, that's my washing machine, helps save, uh, you know, the shape and structure of it so I can have it longer, then for sure. I love dump bags and I could use this as a dump bag, but it's so soft, like I'm afraid I'll ruin it. So anyways, uh, let's get to this part. Now that we did our weekend bag thing. So I don't know how to start getting this stuff out. So I guess I just will. Um, in one of the side pockets of the organizer, I have a pack of candy. I always keep candy with me. Um, cause I am anemic and I can get really lightheaded easily and the candy helps. And a pen, organizer has a spot just for pens. Pen, um, I'm, I'm not going to name every spot it's coming from. <laughs> Hand cream, champagne toast, uh, 
black cherry merlot sanitizer and extra this one's almost out so i put another one in there um my keys seen them once seen them twice seen them a million times okay that's all of that side okay and then i have my black michael kors wallet i love this wallet it's a zip around card holder wallet like it's got two slots in the front and two in the back and it's like got this quilted this like quilting on it and it zips around and it's like accordion so but i love it i love the way it's set up i've used a million other wallets and traded around um me and my family went and seen the super mario movie Super Mario movie yesterday. That was awesome. I really liked it. Of course, me and my husband's generation, you know, that's when Nintendo came out because I'm old like that. But we went and seen that movie. It was cool. So, wallet. And then this little pink pouch has like, oh, I don't want to dig all this stuff out. Like little necessities like wet wipes, hair ties you know, lip balm, lighter, you know, little beauty blender, nail clippers, you know, just like those, all those little things that, you know, you just might need kind of like a little personal emergency kit. <laughs> like it's just a bunch of like the small everyday things that you might need. So I put in there sunglasses. A little clear pouch that has bathroom stuff in it. Pads, liners, butt wipes. <laughs> a butt wipe. Um, a battery pack. I think it's full. Yeah, it's full. See the lights? Battery charger. My headphones, earphones, earpods. All charged up. Headphones. The charging cord and this black polka dot bag yes they are the same kind I bought this one first and then I found this one at TJ Maxx and I'm like I love these little pouches so I need to so this one is one I had first and I've just made it into like a little emergency pouch but in this black one is like my little mini pharmacy so it has like the medicine box in it with my daily meds and then like Tylenol Advil stomach things, cough drops, you know, just like little pharmacy. So this is like my little just in case you need these things kind of kit. And then this is like my little pharmacy box. So I love these little pouches. You guys don't sleep on little tiny pouches. They're handy. Um, body spray. And this, it looks like sunglass case, but I've actually got, um, like spare makeup in it. Like I use it for a makeup bag. Like a little makeup pouch. Instead of having like a whole makeup bag or using another, I got oil sheets, lip gloss, brow pencil, mascara, and a concealer in here. So that's, this is the eyeglass case that I had before I found this eyeglass case. Ooh, it almost went crazy. But it's actually a little makeup kit. <laughs> okay, that's all the big stuff in the middle. I'll we'll go ahead and turn it around. And then in one little pocket, I got a mirror. Just a compact mirror. And then in the other little pocket, there is a partial pack of gum. I did buy a new pack. This one has... This one only has four pieces left in it. But I got another pack in my room. But there's still four pieces left in that one. And then on the side of the organizer, like in the bag, I have my trusted everywhere wipes. These are wet wipes. They're full body wipes. You can use them anywhere for anything on anything. You never know. That's handy. Whether it be just to clean your hands or clean your tush, you can do it. Freshen up your stinky armpits in the middle of the summer. Heck, you don't know. All right, so that's everything that's in the organizer. And then, of course, as you know, the Speedy has its own little side pocket here. And the only thing I have in that little side pocket is a pocket knife. 
and oh and the keys to the lock so I had yeah I just had the keys to the lock and a pocket knife in that little speedy pocket and then it's just the organizer in there so then this I will see it's all empty now so then this I will stuff and pack and put away until the next time I switch to it <laughs> all right so let's see first let's just put in things we want in the side pocket my pocket knife I like to have in the side pocket let's see um, my keys so I don't have to dig for them so we'll put the pocket knife and the keys in the side pocket a pack of gum it's about had it but we'll put it in the side pocket and a pen will a pen fit in there yep right there and then a pen in the side pocket and some candy like I said it's a generous side pocket like it's just one side pocket but there's so much room in here so I've got a pocket knife keys gum candy and an ink pen in the side pocket and I mean I could toss in random other things but that's that's plenty enough so then in the bottom we'll just put our battery pack and cord just throw it in the bottom makeup bag toss in the bottom wet wipes bottom bathroom pack just toss in the bottom glasses spray earphones mirror lotion and sanitizer just toss it in our little pouches just toss them in and last not least our wallet and we'll just toss that in and there is the side pocket as you can see it's not full to the top but it has the candy and the gum and the keys and stuff in there and then let's see uh, if you can see inside very well let's lay the pocket side down <laughs> there we go maybe that'll help <laughs> Very much to really tell how it is because I literally just chucked it all in there. So, yeah, the side pocket has the gum and stuff in it. And then I literally just tossed everything else in there. And there you have it. It's the, the zipper, the back, front. Like, see, there's the pocket. You can see how generous it is because it's stitched. Like, oh, yeah. So it literally goes like this whole section of the bag. It's just one big giant slip. And there's the front. And then on this side where there's a clip for the shoulder strap, I'll probably just hang that inside so it's not hanging out. But I got my sanitizer clip there, but I'm just going to let that hang on the inside. I'm not sure if I'm going to put the shoulder strap on yet or not. Okay, so... Now that we have our purse all packed and everything in it and happy ready to go and obviously it's a giant tote and it's got enough room I could stick a whole outfit in here if I want but and I love that it zips love 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 that feature it's like it's hard to find with big totes like most big totes it's not giant tote but it's a fair size tote like yeah it's not small it's definitely like medium large uh tote um but most larger totes your trouble is they're either left wide open or uh, they just have like a snap in the middle or like a little clip in the middle, but not this one. You get the full on, full blown tote and they were nice enough to put a zipper on the top, which is so cool. But like I said, it's like the Mark uh, Jacobs tote. It's just DKNY. Um, so yeah, so there you have it. And 
Yeah, you can leave this piece out or you can tuck it into the bag like that and just have it like clean. So that was my weekend of bags in a view <laughs> and a swap from my Speedy to my Tote and gee willikers. All them other bags I'd have done like switch, switch, switch with me, but I switched them so quick I didn't even have time. Like, literally in a span of, like, four or five days, I went through all of those purses. <laughs> I guess that made a heck of a run of videos, but I was actually so busy. We did so much this weekend, I didn't have time to even bother going, I'm going to switch to this, 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 this. Oh, I didn't even have time. But, okay, I'll see you next time around, guys. Bye!